Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 6. In the last part, we did stuff here in Skytown trying to fix everything, and now we're gonna find out who the hell's behind this entire mess. Ah, evil manager person, I knew it! Ah, it's that guy! Tch. How long are you gonna disguise yourself? I already know you're, not, you're a fake admin building person. You're such a pain, I was gonna wear this disguise until the very end, and then blame it all on that old guy. Well, whatever. I'll just this ugly old guy look and show you my true wonderful self. Ugh, that's wonderful. Showing a real face at last, huh? What are you gonna do with the Force program? <laughs> I didn't realize you knew that much. We need a lot of energy to make our plan work. If we use the Force program, we can get all the energy we need. We need a lot of energy because they need about as much energy to move around as Skytown does. Who in the world are they? Demons will throw humans into the pit of fear. Too bad you won't be seeing them, though, because you'll be too busy crashing into the ground with Skytown. Element Man, get the Force program. What? What the hell? Um, I have no idea how to interpret that. <laughs> I don't even know what voice to give him. Uh, you know what? I'll read his vo dialogue during the boss fight. <laughs> Apparently, scared is a bit tight, though. I won't let you get away with this. Well, that was thankfully a short and sweet dialogue scene. We can't let them get their hands on the Force program. It's up to you, Mega Man. Roger. Okay, now the way this place works is that... There's two levels, the Cloud Layer and the Lower Layer. You need to gather the, the rainbow pieces you see all around, all seven colors of the rainbow. And on the cloud, you press, hold down the A button and, and surround that Typhoon virus with rainbow power, which will destroy it. The cloud, if it's hit by three of the Typhoons, will self-destruct, though. Uh, first off, there is a blue mystery data down here in the lower right corner of this all part. And up here in the north, we're finally gonna get stuff done. Uh, there are new, no new viruses in here, by the way. Uh, there are, you can't encounter viruses when you're on the cloud, however you can when you're on the, like, platform clouds. <coughs> Very simple concept, and actually pretty easy area. It's pretty fast, too. Uh, this place is over more quickly than I think in any of the past couple areas. The only really tricky part is surrounding the Typhoon viruses. Which we shall do soon. Actually, no, there is a new virus in here, but I don't encounter it until a bit from now. I'm actually going to get the information ready for the Cybeast Falls are Cross while I'm at this, actually. Because I'm technically doing three things right now. I'm commentating over this, and this virus battle. Uh, two new enemies, Armadale 2s and Katax return from 5. They're the exact same as other previous incarnations. I love you, Blast Man, for destroying everything. Anyway, guys, I was saying, I'm doing three things right now. I'm getting the information for the cross, commentating over this, and actually level granting an Omega Ruby, and uh, Alpha Sapphire, rather. Once the rainbow is complete, get back in the cloud, and if you hold down the A button, you'll shoot out rainbow spheres. You have to connect the, into a circle around the Typhoon virus, as you shall see right about... Well, first off, this little mystery data. Spreader 3, that's pretty good. Also, off-screen, I got an M Cannon S from a green mystery data, so, yeah. Do that, and the rainbow power will wash the typhoon away, stopping the rain and allowing you to progress onwards. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a bit iffy right now. Uh, the, sur the subsequent areas have more typhoon viruses. Uh, the second area has two, whereas the second one also has uh, the third one rather also has two, but they're much more angry. They're aggressive, rather. Anyway, uh, let me get the information for the cross up. Uh, in Cybeast Falls, you get Tomahawk Cross. Yeah, Tomahawk Man's back as the Link Navi instead of Alec Man, as far as I can recall. Its element is wood, so therefore it's weak to fire. Non doing wood chips will be, can be charged for double damage. You have Status Guard enabled, which means I th which I, I think means you can't get hit with any status ailments. You slowly heal when standing on any grass panels, and your charge shot is Tomahawk Swing, which covers the 2x3 area in front of you for 20 times your bust rank plus 40 wood and sword damage. Which will also flinch enemies and has a slight delay compared to Tomahawk's soul, though. And its Beast Out equivalent, or at least its Beast Out exclusive, is... The chip charge becomes... Wing Boomerang, circumventing the perimeter of the battlefield for two hits of 71 damage each, uh, increasing by 20 damage for, for each increase in Buster Rank. Not terribly useful. Also, it now occurs to me I have yet to show off a single Beast Over. I guess I'm not what I'll be doing in between parts. Oh well. 
Also, it's weird. In the anime, there's actually ex an exclusive beast out that's kind of a combination of the two. Uh, some fans call it Grailzar, but uh, it, its official name, as far as we're aware, is called Beast Out Cross Fusion Mega Man. Look it up. It actually looks kind of cool. Anyway, that's all I really have to say. All the uh, You've seen the area twice now. I've explained everything I need to explain until we get to the boss fight, so yeah. Might as well talk about the Pokemon game I'm playing at the moment. Uh, me and my friend Scott are trading at the moment, because we, uh, I want to complete the Hoenn Pokedex, at least. I don't care for the national decks, but I want to at least complete the region decks. I already completed the decks now, so I probably have at least half the decks, honestly, if I evolved everything I have. Uh, I'm currently, uh, as soon as I finish this battle, I think I'm like 203 seen, 190 something caught. Um, I know I still have to work on evolving uh, the fossils and uh, the Mudkip line. Uh, there's only two trade evolutions left to do, too, which are Rhyferior and Dusk Noir. Is it Rhyferior or Rhyperior? I can never tell. I also have a couple of egg evolutions, but those will be easy. Also, I should mention, I love the song here. In fact, I can say this is probably my favorite gimmick in the game. Because it's... Fairly simple and easy, by the way, Recover 120 right there. Pretty useful if I didn't already have a Recover 300. <laughs> Mind you, if you're not using the lottery like I did, uh, that could be actually very useful. Also, I'm sorry if there's any audio desync, even if it's just very slight in this part. I noticed it when editing uh, towards the boss fight, so I had to make this gigantic edit in order to fix it. And spin pink, so you can spin uh, pink Navicus program, so I might actually end up changing that thing off-screen slightly. Yeah, that was, a, that was just a tad bit. And that's the end of that typhoon. And the end of that typhoon. It took me a while to get those two. That's why I cut with them in the past ones. And now we can head straight to Element Man. Booyah. Okay, let's see if I can do his dialogue. What the? I won't let you have the Force program. PPP. P Kirira P Kira. Piriruri kiriri piriri. Piri kiriri ra ri ri. What the hell, man? What? Element man, delete that Navi. Piki ra ra piki ra. Kiki ra pira piki ri ra. Ra ki ri pira. Seriously, what the hell? <laughs> We're not that easy to beat. Pikiru. Piki ri ra ri piri ri ra kiri. Pirari. Here he comes, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Execute. Pikiriru! <laughs> Element Man's actually a pretty fun fight. The thing is, he actually has multiple elements to him. That little thing in the background, uh, on the back of him, which shows the various elements, is not a lie. He will change his element for any given attack. He has a tornado attack, a fire attack, very much an attack for any given element. And the thing is, when he's actually using an attack, like if he were to use the wood tower attack, which he has, he is actually Wood Element at that point, so if you use a Fire-type attack, he will take double damage. So therefore, he actually has every elemental weakness and strength for him going for him. However, it doesn't stop uh, the Beast out from being kind of broken. <laughs> I was actually trying to use the White Capsule as its own uh, chip charge, and then I forgot, wait, probably should have put it first. Because normally, if you just try to use the chip charge on its own, uh, chip charge, uh, the White Capsule on its own, it just gives the same effect that the... Attack plus 10s do, where it just goes up in smoke. But oh well. He's still pretty easy. Uh, he's honestly probably my favorite boss in the game in terms of concept, though, because I love bosses like this. My god, I love Slash Beast so much! P P R I R I Q P R I R I K I I didn't I don't even know. <laughs> What were they thinking with that dialogue? Seriously. There's a reason he doesn't get lines in the manga, but still. What? what? Element Man. Do you beat Element Man? You're not getting away. Tch. I thought you were just a kid. I underestimated you. You and everyone else, man. Now turn yourself into the police. Sorry, bud. No way I'm going to the punishment room. Ah! But my eyes! <laughs> See you later, you little pest. Er, hey, let me go. Huh? <laughs> let go. Damn this stupid curses. This stinks. 
Okay, that's awesome. Awesome job, Mr. Weather. Oh, that's right, I have to find Iris. You just remember that now? Screen divide. Uh-oh. But what's that? Oh, shit. And I recognize that sword behind it. Mr. Weather! Lan Hikari. Somehow it seems we are fated to fight one another. Th that voice! Oh, crap. C -c Colonel! The copyright Mega Man used earlier. You. Vic, take the Force program and return to base. Damn it! Ah! Don't look away when your opponent is in front of you. Colonel, stop this! Please wake up! You're the one that needs to wake up, Lan Hikari. The one you see now is the real me. We, World 3, will delete anyone that stands in our way. This time I won't miss. N no! Huh? Huh? I don't feel any pain. What the? Uh, Iris! But why are you here? Ugh. Your life has been spared for now, Lan Hikari. But next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. Looks like I owe, you an I owe you another one, Iris. <laughs> I can't tell who's trying to save who anymore. I'm glad you're not hurt, Lan. Iris, just who are you? Wah! Lan, Skytown's falling! With the main energy source created by the Force program, and Skytown's main computer, Mr. Weather, gone. We're gonna end up as fish food at the bottom of the ocean! Well, she seems to be doing something. Angie brought up the electric backup. How did you even know how to do that? Well, wow, you fixed it. Iris, what? What the? Sounds like the elevator's working again. Ah! Damn that ninja! She disappeared again? Ugh. Iris, who are you? Well, I'll find out eventually. Probably. A few days later, news spread throughout Central Town that two prisoners had escaped from the Green Town Punishment Room. Oh no, don't tell me. Oh god damn it! So the two shameless fools return. Don't think that I've already forgotten how embarrassingly disgraceful you two acted. Ugh! Yoo hoo! Hey, all the assholes are here. You're in trouble now? You made him mad! If it isn't the two useless punks. You two are quick to forget. Just remember that you two are no better than them. Yuika, Vic. H hey! What are you talking about? Let's see. Who was it that got only one of the side beasts and then allowed Mega Man to get the other? Uh. And who was it that, let, without Colonel's help, would have lost us the Force program? Tseh. World 3 doesn't need no brain to useless failures. The next mission's your last chance. Mess this up and you're out for good. Tch, who made him king? The mission this time will be going after the side beast inside Mega Man's body. We'll cause a disturbance and then kidnap him. This mission's too important to mess up, so this time I'm not leaving it up to you failures. I've requested this person to go along with you. Enter. Alright, who we got? Oh no, you gotta be- No, no! You- You're- Blastman's operator, aren't you? A rare sight, indeed. Since you said you don't want to be spotted here. Oh, no. I'm such an interesting hobby you got there, Mitty. You look like a teacher to the kids, but you're a member of World 3 with the rest of this scurvy crew. It's scandalous, is it? Is what? <laughs> That's enough useless talk. There's more planning to be done. First, we're going to split into two teams. Blastman and Dive Man will form one, and Judge Man and Element Man will form the other. Circus Man will stay behind and support the two teams. We'll get that other side beast one way or another. I will not forgive failure. Wow, uh, <laughs> that's a plot twist. Curses, he treats us like a bunch of idiots. Who does Baron think he is? A badass, obviously. He was acting a little high and mighty, wasn't he? 
Hey, the guy joined World 3 way after all of us. So how did he end up commanding us? You be telling the truth there, mighty. But they say he's invincible, and his Navi, he's too strong for us to beat. Yeah, but a man's got his limits, and I'm at mine. Look, those two are strong, but if we all work together, I bet we stand a chance. Oh, you got some good idea, Vic. You aren't thinking of... Yeah, we're gonna ditch World 3, and rule the world ourselves. Good idea, no? But that's... Better make up your mind. So is everyone in? Okay, we'll act like we're all servants. Tee hee hee! I know a little something that might be useful. Oh, what's this useful thing, Yuika? Well, as luck would have it, I happen to know a certain person who said to me, let's betray World 3 together. Wait, wait, wait. Together? Are you saying that this person is somehow related to World 3? Tee hee! It's that person! The one and only benefactor who's helped World 3 a lot. You're pulling at me leg, girl. That's some tall tale you're telling us. That benefactor's been given World 3 money from the beginning. Why would he want him to be a mutinous dog now? I don't know. He said something like, I said I'd help, but I never said I was on World 3's side. He's probably got his own reasons. Well, I say it doesn't matter as what his reasons are. This is our chance. We should rejoin this benefactor. It'd be better than being under barrel. Then what are we doing still swallowing barrel? No, not so fast. We should wait. Let's follow Barrel's commands for just a little longer. We'll wait until the time is right, and then we take over. <laughs> uh, just you wait, Barrel. Well, that was a plot discussion. But- Oh, no, you're kidding! So you were here all this time, Dr. Wily. He's back, people! Beryl. It's nearly finished. Isn't it magnificent? Slowly, one step at a time, my dream becomes a reality. We got the Force program. Here, Doctor. So this is the Force program. <laughs> we finally have another crucial piece. Have you told this to the benefactor? No, there's no need. He's finally revealed his true colors. He wants the side beast that's in our possession. So we'll keep him in the dark and let him think what he wants. Beryl. Now is the time to break our connection to our benefactor. But don't we need a lot of things that only our benefactor can give us for our plan to work? If we cut off our source, we'd only hurt ourselves. <laughs> That is where you're wrong. All this time, our plan never needed that benefactor at all. All that remains is the control panel. In just a little while, we'll bring the end about the end of the world. <laughs> oh, great. That's two plot twists in one part. I like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, in Central Town... And we're at that final round of the Expo Pavilion Navi test thingy. It's finally starting. Stay loose, Lan. And apparently, the mayor's actually going to say some words before we start it off. Alrighty. Also, I'm noting the two unique NBCs to our left. What's he? I want to thank you, Netballers, for coming here today. Ever since I became mayor, it's been a big dream of mine to host an expo. I truly believe that the success of this expo depends on the Operator Navi, who was chosen here today, so your role is very important. Therefore, let us now begin the final round of the expo, Pavilion Operator Navi Selection Test. Seriously, that's such a long name. I hope that everyone will fight bravely. Good luck. That guy standing right behind the mayor... I'm almost sure it was the same creepy guy from Greentown. But he kind of seemed to like the mayor's bodyguard. Now I'm curious. I wonder who he is. And we have to find a specific thing for this test, which is the legendary gem, the Moonstone, which is found somewhere in the Undernet. And thankfully does not evolve a Clefairy. Hmm, a legendary gem, huh? Feels totally different to be in a final round. And the person who finds it will be the Operator Navi. Fairly simple, and it begins now. But with that, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, and in part 22, we'll be checking out uh, some stuff over at Astroland first before continuing on, continuing on with the plot. See you guys then!